Hi, I'm Matt Noe, a member of the product team here at Rubric. Prior to joining the product team, I was one of our software engineers working as a part of the multi-tenancy team. Today we're going to discuss the new approach Rubric has taken towards multi-tenancy that enables our multi-tenant environment to be simple and scalable. Multi-tenancy enables customers to support multiple organizations within a single platform. For IT, this empowers different business units to manage the various resources within their environment. So what's the difference between the rubric approach to multi-tenancy and the legacy approach? The legacy approach to multi-tenancy employs physical partitions, where you basically divvy up the compute and storage environment into different partitions, like this. So as we can see, we've divided our physical environment into three isolated chunks. This approach can lead to over-provisioned resources and make it very difficult to scale, especially when you're operating with cloud environments. So what is innovative about Rubrik's approach to multi-tenancy is that we have taken a logical approach to multi-tenancy. So what this means is we logically isolate the various resources within your environment rather than physical separation. So as we can see here, we have logically grouped these different resources within your organization. So what this enables is shared resources, as we can see here. The benefits to this approach is that it enables you to scale on demand. Uh, in addition, it is significantly more flexible while still maintaining the secure isolation via RBAC within each of these organizational views. Let's walk through how this works. So you can think of the Rubrik platform as a large collection of resources. So what we have tried to do is, like the rest of the Rubrik platform, enable multi-tenancy to be as easy as possible. So what we'll do is first create a new organization. You can think of an organization as a virtual collection of resources within the broader rubric environment. So step one is to create your organization and give it a name. Then the second step is to select the users that should have access to this organization. These users will be able to log in and see the resources given to this organization and then take subsequent action only on them. So that leads us to the third step where we select the actual resources that should be a part of this organization. So you can select any of the various kinds of resources within the rubric environment. So VMs or SQL server databases or any of the others. The fourth step is to select the various archive targets as well as select any SLA domains. So here we add an AWS archive location, but you can add any of the major cloud provider locations and we'll attach the gold SLA. Like the rest of the Rubik platform, our multi-tenancy support is completely powered by RESTful APIs. So all of the APIs will be scoped to the resources that we have put as a part of this new organization. So let's get to the use cases. So first, our new multi-tenancy support empowers large enterprises. How this works is it enables the central IT department to acquire and provision the resources and then offload the management of those resources to the smaller department level IT organizations such as HR, finance, and engineering. A second use case is for role-based personas, where it enables central IT again to empower the various subject matter experts, such as SQL Server database admins, to manage their own resources. And similarly, you can do the same for the VMware experts managing the various VM resources. And finally, we empower service delivery partners to provide rubric as a service to their end customers. This enables the tenant administrator to create and manage organizations for the different end tenants. So multi-tenancy is one of the neat new ways you can leverage Rubrik's REST APIs. 
For additional REST API use cases, check the Rubrik website. Thank you for listening.